Okay, so we're inside now, um, just a bit further down here and we get to the classic car show. I've heard there's not just classic cars, there's modern cars as well. Um, a few LaFerraris, for example. So let's go and check them out and what else is there? We begin in the car club section with a Ferrari F40. Did you know the F40 was the first road legal supercar to hit 200 miles an hour? And a 288 GTO behind it, as you can see by the number plate. This thing was the predecessor to the F40. Obviously the F40 came next, then the F50, then the Enzo, and now we've got the LaFerrari. Okay, this is pretty special. Aston Martin Vulcan. The Vulcan comes with a 7-litre V12 engine producing 800 horsepower. This is one of Aston Martin's track-only cars and it's absolutely mental. They cost 1.8 million pounds when new, however with such demand, one has been spotted for sale for 2.4 million pounds. Only 24 Vulcans are to be produced. A road conversion kit however has been announced for the Vulcan, with some owners expressing their interest to drive them on the road. What sight that would be. Check out this Aston Martin Vanquish Volante. Looks nice, yeah? Look at the wheels. Ruined. We now move into the main part of the show where various manufacturers and dealers have their cars on display. Okay, so I think I've found the best car here, La Ferrari Aperta. Ferrari's flagship model valued in the millions. It has a 6.3 litre V12 that has a total power output of 950 horsepower. It can exceed 217 miles an hour and hit 60 miles an hour in less than three seconds. The Aperta refers to the Italian word for open. A few other Ferraris that share the Aperta name are the 458 Speciale Aperta and 599 SA Aperta. This is pretty cool as well, Ferrari F12 TDF. The F12 TDF is the hardcore version of the Ferrari F12. The main differences are the carbon stripe between the lights at the back, additional air intakes and a more aggressive front end. Power is up to 769 horsepower and can hit 60 in 2.9 seconds. Top speed in excess of 211 miles an hour. Check out this 4x4 with Goldwing doors, Tesla Model X. The CX-75 is a concept car from Jaguar which was supposed to go into production but was cancelled due to an ongoing global economic crisis. Here though is a Jaguar that did make it into production, very limited production however. Named the Project 7, it's based on the F-Type and limited to only 250 cars. It's Jaguar's most powerful production car ever. It takes inspiration from the D-types of the 50s in terms of the design and the livery. It uses a 5 litre V8 supercharged engine producing 567 horsepower. It can accelerate to 60 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds and has a top speed of 186 miles an hour. Based on Aston Martin Rapide, it's a one-off car worth £2 million. It's called the Aston Martin Rapide Bertone Jet 2 Plus 2. It shares the same 6-litre V12 engine from the Rapide, but features an estate-like rear end and a panoramic sunroof. Okay, so we're in the Ferrari Tribute section. 
the classic motor show. Check out some of these Ferraris. First we've got Ferrari Enzo here, obviously named after the owner, Enzo Ferrari. It's an extremely rare car limited to just 399 units. This is the 599 GTO, Ferrari's hardcore version of the 599. We've got a La Ferrari, Italian for the Ferrari, implying it's the ultimate Ferrari, and it is, just look at it. This is Ferrari's flagship model, and the value of these are increasing at an insane rate. Late 2016, one auctioned off for $7 million, making it the most valuable 21st century car ever sold at auction. This is a Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale. Here we have a Ferrari 250 GTO, quite possibly the most expensive car ever. I mean, one of these sold for $38 million at an auction a few years ago. This is an F50, the model that came between the F40 and the Enzo. Here's a modified Ferrari F12 with a two-turn rear end and gold wheels. What do you guys think? Okay, so we've got the holy trinity of hypercars behind me. That's the Porsche Nominate Spider, the Ferrari La Ferrari, and the McLaren P1. Another Ferrari Enzo finished in Ferrari's stunning TDF blue. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.